He looks to be the Alistar, so he wants the more aggressive route for himself. Some of their problems come from late game, where they haven't been able to cleanly execute games and they're losing team fights. Uh, top lane gank, though. All right, trying to look on the stacks. Three and four is going to be the stun up. Spec does have the ultimate. Odawana is going to have to flash out to safety. First blood dropping for G2. That's the power of the Chogun. The so definition. So much team fight. Let's see mid lane. They use flash here. Okay. Favorite event flashes forward. J uh, perks reacts as well, as well. Trick then actually comes to the mid lane, but then sadly did not connect. Mm. I think there's a little more trading happening. Going for the all-in. Let's, Let's see how close it is from Trick. Flashes. Oh, that is so close. Que questionable hitbox, folks. Questionable. Nico applying more pressure on the bottom side, using the blood boil, trying to find these small edges over the G2 lineup. And now it looks like it will be the 3v3. Trick is moving forward. Ultimate comes out from the new new dealing out a dish, decent amount of damage. Now pulling back. TP has been utilized. Orion is here. Cassio coming in on the backside. Sees an opportunity for the all, but it does not connect. TP behind. Shogath on the way. Nuclear Nota Woman need to make it out of there. No one gonna get hit by the rupture. Now expect is in no man's land. He's trying to pull back. He's gonna make it out to safety four now. The fight has restarted. That's a three-man shockwave. They're moving for a little bit more. Yankos is in trouble. Nuclear and Odawamne untouched though. Trick taking so much damage in exchange. No one has died yet. And now I'll escape. Everyone walks away. So far, the teams have had a few, and now they're just trying to push down towers and get the gold advantage. All for Odawamne. He does not care about Sven one bit. Just wants to clear the creep wave, just wants the health to do so. But Mithy's on the way. He's just going to pull back. We have to remember, HK have only one member top, four members on the bottom side. Perk's finish is going to get picked off here. Ice Ball moving forward. It's going to be hard to make it away from that one. No ultimate moving forward. That's going to be a kill back for H2K. It's not over yet. Locked up under the tower. Yanko's set to fall. No heal available. That's still going to be the one for one. Trick fires back, and Sven finally going to get the topside tower. Trick uh, spawning the Rift Hell just over the wall. Minions are getting pushed in now, but the Rift Hell will just be on its own. They have been falling out. Odoan is going to be here to clear this one out, but now Trick potentially in trouble. The flash forward, the flay not going to connect from Shade. The hook not going to connect either. That's got to be embarrassing. Goodbye. Dodging out, Nunu looks for the disengage, but Che, that one has to hurt. Misses everything, and it costs him his life as well. But now they're just going to move on to the Baron. This Do is incredibly early. Again, double Mountain Drake, but they don't have Cassiopeia here yet. They don't have Tristana either. Mithy all alone. Flashes as soon as he makes it out of the Miasma. Is going to need to try to make it to safety. Pulverize. Looks for the disengage. Che over the wall. That hook is going to connect. Moving forward. The flay. Mithy trying to run for his life. The blast cone. Che making it out to safety. Sven is over the wall. Trick trying to hunt down the support. All on his lonesome, but that's advantage to H2K. So H2K rushed to Baron here to force G2 to react and then just turned instantly to fight him. They can start Baron again with the double Mountain Drake. And they're doing it straight away. Yankos and Odama, they can tank it. 4v5 here. Chogat versus Nunu. Who's going to get the Baron in the end? Trick is coming over the wall. Che does manage to connect the hook. Nuclear still in the pit. They're burning it down. Trick gets it in the end. 50-50 in the favor. Beautiful shockwave, but no follow-up. Just a Baron in the favor of G2. In the AD carry department, a little more damage, a little less attack speed for Sven. But Nuclear on his way to his third item. We see some trading between the two tankiest members of each of the well, teams. Well, Blastcom was used by G2, that down bug lane. The one running is going to use the ultimate, subjugate giving him a Ice lot flash. back. We'll make it out to safety. Trick, though, wants to continue this. Lantern. They're going to try to burn it down. Cassio's there, Tristana, Nunu. Is this the time? Expect ready to go over the wall. Miasma not going to block any entrance to the pit. Looking to get this one. Will H2K secure it? They get this Baron. It. Now they have to get out of the fight. A shockwave going to be used. It's going to connect onto two. Multiple members look set to fall. Mithy going to be pushed out of the fight by Nuclear, not giving him a chance to make any plays. Odo, he may just be the sacrificial lamb, but can the rest of H2K escape? They got the Baron recalls. They're using them. Yankos is out. So will Nuclear. He obviously, because they're the ones starting the Baron. Yeah, a lot of confidence. Woo, nuclear. Ooh. But they know, okay, with the double mountain, Nuno, they could do Watch it. Watch out. Bevan finally going to get hit up. Yankos looking for the ultimate to try to disengage. We'll get pulled back into the team. Bevan is looking to get burned down. This could be bad news for H2K. That is one carry dead. It is all on nuclear to clean up the fight. Odawamne is coming in on the backside. But G2 have found an opportunity. They've found the pick that they need. Run, Nuno, run! Blood Boil may take them away. Blood Boil may be enough. Second Odawamne! Play a turn! Not no. enough! The ward comes down. The play that made Yankos famous this split. Now used against him as Odo tries to run for his life. Odo Omne running to Che. He's waiting on that lantern cooldown. Will he get it in time? Where's the feast at? May not have it. Nope, there it is. Nom, nom, nom. G2, man. No flash from Trick this time around, but uh, Mithy starting the fight. Headbutt pulverized. Nuclear trying to make it out to safety. No input buffer on that one. Thresh cannot save the day. It's all just prey at this point for G2.
Easy to run him down, just gonna move under the tower. No one is there to save him. G2 dominating. Second time where G2 plays a ward on that lantern and H2K not able to click it. Nuclear ends up dying, flash used as well in the fight. And G2 going straight for this turret. Breaking the inhibitor line, exactly what you want. But Odawamne, he's gonna fire back. He's gonna get that bottom tier two in his team's favor. But with an inhibitor open, it gets so much easier for G2 to play the map. One constant source of pressure there in the mid lane. Most people would call those for vision. They're for I, call, <laughs> I call that counterplay as the on the hunt comes out. That's gonna be stunned up onto Odawamne. We'll have a chance to use the subjugate shortly. Slowfield goes in, knowing again, not going to rush damage. her. They're all gonna pull in next to five minutes. Shockwave moving forward. Sivir on the way, but a beautiful disengage from Feminine. I don't think it's going to be enough. Sven takes down Jay. Just when H2K managed to kill a tank with Febriven and Nuclear, then Perks lands a five-man Shockwave. G2, they're starting the Baron here. Odana is TPing in. We have Jankos in the mid lane. He's fairly low, though. Smite is ready, but Smite the Baron is soon. gone. 2K dropping, it's gone. Because G2 are still applying all this pressure. They're running straight at them. On the hunt, Hughes. Nunu all going to try to find the disengage, but they're just going to eat through Yankos. No hesitation. Nuclear is free hitting onto the back line. The two man engage coming in from Perks. Jay now knocked up, knocked down. G2 looking for a little bit more as the double kill drops for Expect. H2K, they're running for their lives. Not a single member can afford to get hit by anything where this game could end in the favor of G2. Well, they're going to go for more. Nope. Mythic gets denied right there. Perks and the rest of G2 are looking for the Nexus turrets. Clear doing what he can, but the, sh the command, attack, the dissonance. Zoning him out completely, keep your eyes on the ball. Nuclear and Febivin cannot get anywhere close there. One tower at a time. G2 looking to make a statement here. Making it slowly but surely as they look to break down this Nexus. H2K hoping, trying to get something back. We have to keep our eyes on Nuclear, but that's just expect going godlike. 14 kills to three, a dominant game one coming in from G2. I think Tom Kench or maybe like a black shield is the way to go. Tam Kenshi makes a ton of sense to set Javan up to succeed. Now, we get two jungles top lane. Sidestep, looking for the stack, so to stun up Odawane. Yankos, the flash body slam forward. Odawane not gonna find the knockup. That's gonna be first blood for H2K. Flash forward gonna take it down. First blood for G2, rather. Yankos in trouble. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Going in. Barrel. Woo. Yeah, you can't do that. Don't ever do that again. Nice first gank, though, from Trick. When it really matters, especially in playoffs, he tends to show up for G2. Febby needs to flash away. Perks winning that trade, and Yankos is being followed by Mythian Trick. One stack, two stack, three stack, four. That's going to be the stun. He's gone. No, nope. Jay. I'm going to grab the disengage. Lucky for them, their bot laner does not believe in sitting with the AD carry. Bot lane, we might get one of those fights. Moving forward, Nuclear gonna take a lot of damage, it's gonna get knocked up. Che gonna use the ultimate, but will be locked up for the duration. TP now coming in, Sven needs to make it out. That's gonna be Mithy looking to be the sacrificial lamb. Che can just keep the stun going. Looks like the TP was canceled in the end. Che, gonna back off, no thick skin. Flash up as well, Nuclear's gonna drop. Double kill for the bottom lane, that is the best bot lane in the West. Finally coming into their own, they see an opportunity, they take it now. Perks is moving in, Yankos running for his life. Shockwave trying to save the jungler. One more auto, the stun, one more trick, gonna take him down. Fevin might not even be safe under this tower. Poison ticking. Oh, he's alive. Oh. Divisio, absolutely everything that could have gone wrong for H2K went wrong right there. It should never complete. And as you said, it actually baited his uh, bot lane. Let's see mid. Fevin now in trouble, though. That's going to be the kill down unexpected. He's looking to fire back, but Perks has more than enough damage to close out the kills. The rest of the team is here as well. Trick on the hunt. Odawamne getting chipped down slowly but surely. No MR yet. But G2 just keep taking advantage to Fischio. They are not giving H2K the chance, but Perks locked up. Knocked back into the team. Silence, no hope for escape. Goodbye, says Odawamne. They gave H2K a chance right there. And Nuclear, he took it. He's like, that's a no flash Cassiopeia right in front of me. Okay, Perks. H2K will be even further behind. Yanko's moving down, so Juani is here as well. They're looking for the all-in. Nuclear gonna get locked up. Jay holding onto the Devourer, has to wait as long as possible. Now gonna look to save, but Expect is here. That's the TP that he saved from earlier. The flash, the flag, the drag, no ultimate, but he doesn't need it. Sven dishing out the damage, and G2 are ripping apart H2K. But the Shockwave, not enough. Been just waiting for G2 to make a play. They've been making them, now bot lane, they're trying something. Nuclear looking to get aggressive. Eyes on the rest of G2, though. H2K definitely going to be able to grab the kill onto Expect here. 
But Yankos very low, multiple members committed. Eyes on G2, folks. This kill does not matter. Baron being taken down, Odawamne. You want a moment, you want a chance to prove you're a clutch player, then this is it. 4K and dropping. Remember, there's no ulti from Jay. Odawamne's going in. They're backing off, peeling off the Baron. They're not going to let it get low enough. They've been trying to fire back. is going to take out Mythi. Can they deny the Baron? Meanwhile, the Rift Herald is wreaking havoc on the top side of the map. G2 are forced back in H2K. They hold on to hope. G2 are in control of the map for now, but luckily the staggered recalls. I mean, the G2 could not free hit. Mithy now going to be locked up. Is he going to get knocked back? They're waiting. Chain CC comes forward, but everything's been used on the Braum. Now the Devourer comes out. Mithy picked off. That's a start for H2K. That's exactly what they need to come back in this game. Che is moving in with ulti. Chocolate to try and clear. Feb been in trouble. There's no cleanse there, but knocked back under the tower. It's Perks. Exhausted as well. Trick looking for the disengage. Expect is right around the corner, but so is Odawamne. Perks taken out. Advantage to H2K. Can they keep the play going? G2 just looking to walk away, and it looks like they're going to get out with their lives. Che pulling back. No ulti available for Sven, but keep your eyes on Trick. Where's the ulti going to go? Going to land right on the more vulnerable member. Che looking to take him to There's safety. No perks. There's Expect. no perks. Now pulling back. It's a slow, steady fight. They're waiting to use the cooldowns. Expect looking for his opportunity to get on the Febivin. They're trying to lock up Oda Wamne. They're looking for the stun. Trick now moving in as well. That tank is in trouble. Febivin. Gonna save his teammate, pulling out. Che is saving everybody, but H2K may have taken too long. G2 now free access to that Baron. But Nucleus should have at least some gold, roughly a thousand on the belt, and they're fighting. Trick trying to find an opening, expecting to open up with the ultimate of his own. TP comes in from Odawamne. G2 getting some major cooldowns, but Trick may have strayed too far. Miasma makes sure that nobody's gonna make it out, and the arrow goes wide. No follow-up in the end. Odawamne holding on, but that tower's got a sliver of life, and G2 definitely walking out with a health advantage. And these two comps here, they're the true ARAM comps. Fight around the single lane. Mid lane is where they're both looking, because once you get a fight in the mid lane and you win it, you can go straight to Baron right after. Both teams fighting for that priority, and it's gonna be big team fights. Moving forward. Looking for the disengage. Tom Kench coming in. Perks over the wall though with the Miasma. Gonna make sure that there's no follow-up. Mithy may have been caught one more time, but the flash will get him out. You can see, amazing. Not a fan of the lack of proactive drafts coming in from Odo Wamne and the rest of H2K. Perks gonna get pulled back. Will they find yet another pick? It does not look like it. Odo Wamne not gonna make it out. The poison ticks him down. Dies right inside the belly. Che wasn't looking for a snack, but he got one. And slowly but surely, G2 are systematically picking apart H2K. Yes, a few picks have gone in their favor, but it is not enough to give them the advantage. G2 are using that gold advantage they got in the early game when they could actually make proactive plays. They're starting the Baron now. There's no feast from H2K, no teleport from Odo Amne. This is currently a 3v5, because Febby's on his way. There's an engage. G2 now looking for the fight. They're happy to not take the Baron. Looking for a little bit more. Nuclear trapped and all alone. Flashing out to safety. Oriana isolated. Perks looking for a little bit more. Does Febivin have the damage to turn this back? Yet another arrow goes wide and Trick. Unable to miss one now. Does find the kill in the end for his team. Double drops. G2. What an immaculate performance as we move further into this game. They struggled, they fell behind, but this week they have improved it and they're looking to keep this one going, but H2K not gonna have it that easy. Perks looking to stun at multiple members. Shane now in trouble, the thick skin burning down quickly. Odawamne in the middle of everything. Alti is gonna connect, he needs to make it out, but the Cho'Gath is just getting burned down. Maybe he can get something back, but no, the fight continues. Expect has he overstayed, not gonna get hit by the shockwave. Moving forward on the nuclear, there's nothing that Yankos can do. G2, they're picking apart H2K. These fights are absolutely one-sided. H2K tried to force in the mid lane because they saw Expect sitting top lane, but the disengage from Sven's bars here was perfect. And then H2K could not find the first kill. There's so many tools from G2 to stop them. They are going straight for the Nexus with all five members and the Baron buff. Nuclear, Arrow will be up shortly, Yankos, no cast to his name, five members strong of G2, they're looking to move us forward to match point, they're looking to take down the remaining members of H2K and Nuclear, you are all on your own, Ace comes in for G2 Esports, J is up, but it is too little, too late, that's gonna be 2-0 moving forward for G2 as they advance to match point. Fresh hooks can get denied by Devour as well, and it's a pretty easy login for Mithy. <laughs> Look how far back Mithy's sitting. They know they haven't seen Yankos on the map yet, and there we go. Flash body slam. Mithy's gonna be flayed back. He cannot devour himself. Not a lot of options left for safety, but now Sven is all on his lonesome. The flash for the devour. 
Both flashes burn for G2. That's success for H2K, but nobody's going to drop. Of course, this is once again a slower early game, I think it's safe to say, but now... Oh, well, potentially in trouble. Cleanse does come out. Ulti drops onto Perks. Devin has to be careful. No cooldowns left. Big show of confidence from Perks. The 1v1. He was under so much pressure. Forced back to base early. And he just turns it around. What a fantastic play from Perks. Bloodline fighting. Okay, just to get something back. Devour. Hook is not going to connect. Not enough. Sven just comes back out shooting. Yeah, because they see him now killing this camp as well, so they can call Perks. Hover to top side. The jungler will come from the bottom side, and you can see Perks is playing safe now. He knows exactly where Yankus is. He's not afraid of the gank. It's a very smart play from G2, just tracking the enemy jungler, understanding which lanes H2K wants to play around. H2K still looking to make things happen. Perks maybe faded in. Moving forward, nice ult. Oh he my comes God. out. He's still looking for the kill. Trying to find the outplay. He's Locked insane. up. Perks moving for a little bit more. Yankos just wants to knock down the kill, but Perks is hungry for blood. Not gonna flash it in, but in the 2v1, Perks finds a kill. I mean, it's just insane performance from Perks right now. He sees the Gragas, he doesn't flash early, even though Yankos is trying to bait it with the body slam. And lands a two-man stun with his ulti. Second time he kills Febivan in this lane, and this time Yankos was right next to him. Now the fight may start. Sven locking up Che. They know that they have the level advantage. Moving in, that's the devour used defensively. Che may just get taken down. The exhaust has been burned. He is now set to fall. The arrow comes out. Nuclear, I don't think he's going to be able to get anything back. Tongue Lash, going to stun. Waiting for the flash over the wall. Sven moving in for a little bit more. Otto's coming in. The hail of arrows and another double kill for the G2 bottom lane. 1v1s. One one. 2v2, now Trick can make it even worse. Hey, 2v1, no problem moving in. Miasma means no flash for Febivin and a killing spree for Perks. You know, the team's on stage, very loud in their calls. Not sure what the next goal is, but clearly both teams ready for a potential fight. Mithy over the wall, Hook gonna connect. Look, he is Mithy. Cleanse out, walks away. Trick looking to turn it, TP on the way in. G2, no hesitation. They pull the trigger, they find that rampage for Perks. 6-0 for G2. H2K doing the only thing they can do right now, oh, trying to force Abyssal a place. Oh, Voyage, Odo trying to flash to safety. Righteous Glory is going to take him out. He's trying to run. Miasma comes in, though. There's no escape. Goodbye, Odo Wamne. Perks unstoppable. This is the back of that Tom Kench. H2K trying again, though. They really need some kills. Sven is here as well. Mithy running for his life. They have to pick who they're going to go for. Sven running back into no man's land. Mithy slowly getting burned down. Sven trying to stay alive, but that's going to be a kill for Febivin. This is a good start for H2K. Two taken off the map. They're looking to fire it back. Already the gold lead diminished. Only 3k in the favor of G2. Can they keep the fight going? You get nothing for free at this point in the game. Around the mid lane. Flinch used. Flash forward the play. Good ulti coming in. Perks trying to fancy footwork his way out. He's going to get knocked back and taken down. And this was exactly the play we talked about here. Use the Ash Arrow to try and force something. They got a cleanse and then they could kill him after. Bot lane though, Rift held plus Sven pushing down two turrets. Mid lane tower going down though in favor of H2K. Nar is on the bottom side, does have TP. It is close to Mega. Holding that rage, he will be forced to transform. If H2K can force for a few more seconds, that's going to be the chain CC. Mithy says no. Knocked out to safety by Yankos. Could be in trouble. Alti comes in. Trick on the way in as well. Febivin is in trouble. Cannot be saved. Taking so much damage in exchange. Expect is moving forward, but he's turned mini at the worst possible time. Now they're looking for the follow-up. Che will get picked off. G2 still cutting through two members of H2K. Yankus needs to land that ulti on a no-flash Tom Kench if H2K wants to get back in this game. But he did not manage to knock Mithy back into the team with perks inside his belly. That could have been two potential kills. It may not matter. Perks is on the hunt for more. Looking for Yankos. Baron's going to drop for G2 as well. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Almost a 7k gold lead in the favor of G2. Well, the Baron kill extended the gold lead. The Baron buff will continue to do the same trick. Just looking for a pick. G2 want to keep the momentum moving forward. Perks on out on a killing spree. H2K doing what they can to fire back. But Yankos is so low. Team holding on for as long as possible. G2 looking for the tower. Multiple low health bars. Odoamne could clean up if he gets the chance, but Perks is not going to have it. Mithy tanks the tower while the rest of the team cleans up. Febivin has to be careful. No one going to drop on the side of G2. G2 will secure a tower here. A few low members, but Mithy once again with the Devour, keeping Trick alive. It always... It's... A lot easier to play a frontline tank when you know you have a Tom Kench behind you because you can stay a little bit longer, take a little bit more damage. Bot lane right now, Dracos. 
for a fight. Featherman gonna find Mithy. G2 getting picked off. Odawamne, what can he do here? He is still getting ripped through. Sven does so much damage. Trick is gonna get taken down by the tower. At the end of the day, it is a two-for-one trade in favor of H2K. They're holding on. Both of those carries are terrifying. On top of that, Black Cleaver Frozen Mallet coming in and oh, hi. now Fabavin. Yeah, goodbye, friend. Such a fast game from G2. Finding those opportunities. Trick. Again, checking. Where do you do? He knows. This is the time. alt. And that'll give a small advantage to H2K. But without Fabavin, they can't really defend this one. Odawamne throws down the silence, but there's no follow-up engage. There's no follow-up damage without the Syndra here. So it's a slow and steady walk down from the side of G2. Have to be careful though. Any moment G2 could pull the trigger and look to engage. Sven does have the ultimate Odawamne. Getting threatened here by Perks. Inhibitor is going to drop. G2 continuing to extend the advantage. Almost a 10k gold lead in their favor. And they have a big wave top lane as well. They can join if they want to push for even more. They're still fairly healthy. There's a Warmox on Trick just giving him all the HP back. He just lost and they're going to kill Odomne. Forward. Odomne needs to make it out of this one. I don't know if he can. Che going to make it over the wall, but here comes Expect. Che wants to make it out of this. Tier 2 tower in the sights of G2. They're looking to burn it down. They're looking to find their place in the finals with one more fight. But H2K, they want their shot at it. Expect getting engaged on is going to use the NAR, trying to find a way out of the fight. Mithy is there to save the day if they need it. Pulling Another back tower. in the end. And CDC him. They might be able to burst him down, but that's just the support you're killing. It's always the issue against Tom Kench. Shea finding the hooks. Oh, Trick in trick. trouble. Moving forward, looking for a little bit more. Expect knocks him back into the team, and that's gonna do it. G2 just gonna clean up the fight. A beautiful engage comes forward. Mithy solo zoning out. Febivin, Maxlor is going to Worlds, and he's damn proud of it. Moving in, Deficio. I cannot believe it. They just got better and better after every game. And H2K, just another mob to a king because G2 are fountain diving away. And with one final win, one final dominant victory over H2K, they're gonna punch their ticket to Paris and they'll see misfits in the finals. Uh, finally, I do also want to ask you about Febivin. We had the, the strong video there about how you guys kind of have a similar path. You guys are, you respect each other a lot as colleagues, but today it was all on the line. Um, is there anything you want to say to him? Because this must be tough. Like H2K couldn't really do anything today. Uh, I think he was the best mid uh, in this split. Like he played the, the most consistent out of everyone, and always played really, really good. And today he played really good too. Besides uh, the last game, he he missed a bit, but it's also a really, really annoying matchup to play. Uh, I think overall he's been the best player on H2K, and yeah, he's just really, really solid. And I wish him. More luck in the gauntlet. Yeah, the gauntlet. We'll talk about that in a minute because H2K will still have a big chance there. I do want to take a look at the playoff bracket. And in the end, it is all filled out because you guys will be going up against uh, Misfits in the final, which is not particularly what that many people had expected the playoffs to go. So, Mithy, what do you find of Misfits as your next opponent standing in the way of yet another championship? Honestly, um, I thought Fnatic was two times better than Misfits, at least. And uh, I was definitely proven wrong in the semifinals, so I don't know what to expect from Misfits, honestly. I, it seems like they're a very good team. They 3-0, 3-1, so we have actually had a harder time than them uh, in this in this like whole run. So yeah, we will see they how it really goes. Good. They are really good. They are, they are, really, they are good. really good. Yeah. Uh, Sven, is it more tricky now to prepare because you guys maybe hadn't counted on the fact that Misfits would all of a sudden make such a good run in the playoffs? I mean, I don't think Misfits is a team that plays very, like, G stuff. Outside of that one Ringa game, I don't think they play anything that's, like, too special from anyone else. And I don't think their players are, like, in, like much better than anyone else in, like, Splice or HK teams. So I think it's going to be another good best of five. Uh, but they're obviously better than everyone else in this playoffs other than us. So it'll be an interesting series for sure. But I don't, I'm not afraid of them, like, necessarily. So. Uh, how much is your mind already in, in Worlds, Smithy? Discount G2. Just wanted to let it let it be there for Misfits to think about that right. for the finals and uh, for Worlds. Yeah, we are definitely going to boot camp and try our best this time. We have been together for one year and a bit longer than that, so I think this Worlds is going to be a lot different than the last one. I think our MSI performance showed that we are able to adapt given the right time. What concerns me the most for Worlds is how we are going to adapt to the patch before we see other people play because we are really good at 
learning the like, learning the meta when we see others play and when we experience our, ourselves some things. But when we are cold and we don't go on stage and we just practice what we do in scrims, we usually tend to not have a good grasp of the meta. So that's what I think we will have to work on the most. Yeah, how do you kind of avoid that? Because you can only scrim, you can't play more games on stage, you know? Uh, is there any mechanic that you guys have to get in your own head and make sure that you're ahead of the curve before you take to the stage perks? Well, the thing that you have to do is that you have to select the champions that you're going to practice and be sure, even though maybe, maybe they're not 100% meta, you have to be really sure that you can perform on them and if you win scrims with them, then you can win on stage too. So you should just stick to, your, to the drafts that you have played and prepared for worlds and then after group stages usually the meta shapes up and the other teams like uh, every team starts playing around the same everyone like adapts but in the first group stage it's like there's a lot of like random champions and mm -hmm. and stuff going on so it's it's, it's going to be hard for sure getting out of groups but uh, i'm confident in myself and my team this year to perform and make it out yeah best of ones are of course always always very very difficult i have to ask is anyone standing in your way of that trophy next sunday well misfits is in the way but are they going to beat you <laughs> probably not uh I, I i wouldn't say so at least personally i'm i'm sure i i will give i have been trying really hard i my personal goal is to make it to challenger before i play the finals and then i will just carry alone i'm sure of it <laughs> you've been uh, quite you know Okay. Banterish in this, I was going to say banterish in this interview, but it's nice. If, I feel like you, you found your groove again and you're just happy to go on stage uh, and play your best. I think I'm just, I'm just having fun playing on stage. I'm having fun being a professional player and like just having the opportunity to play against all these other guys who are also very good at what they do. So I just, I'm just trying to enjoy myself and like treat everything as a one-time experience. And yeah, I'm just trying to make it as, as fun as possible for me and hopefully as fun as possible for Misfits too. If we can get some grudges going on, I think the finals will be even more interesting. Yeah, hey, I mean, Maxor probably has a couple of things to say about that yeah, matchup. Sure. <laughs> I think Twitter... Uh, I'm sure Maxor has something to say, but uh, I might to say to him. So. Okay, well, I think Twitter will be on fire between now and then. One thing I do want to take a look at is the gauntlet and how the matches will play out because that is entirely locked in. The third place match can change nothing about that. H2K and Splice will be our very first match. The winner goes up against the Unicorns of Love and the winner goes up against Fnatic for that spot at Worlds. And when I took a look at this, I said the same thing as you, Perks. <sighs> that is Honestly, a this is really... Rack. This is like the most like gauntlet. Yeah, like it's... Uh, it's gonna be. I can't even. I can't even like see who's gonna win this stuff because I think anyone can take it. Honestly. Yeah. I would Besides bet, unicorns. I wouldn't bet money on anything there. Nothing. I, I would. I would definitely not even try. Well, this is too hard to judge who's going to win. Oh, it's super difficult. But maybe we can think of uh, Sven. You played H2K today. You played Splice, of course, last week. Do you think that first match, who will be able to win there? Who do you think will be able to rebound well enough to make it in that first match? Well, I think Unicorns low-key sucks because they got 3-0 by Misfits like really, really fast. Um, I think HK and Spice both have played two best of fives before they play against Fnatic. So given that Unicorns are not so good right now and that the other team has played two best of fives, I think Fnatic will win the, like, the final of the gauntlet. Um, All right. Might not be a, like, a stomp or anything, but I think they'll win that gauntlet. Hey, you guys are not very clear what Sven thinks that Fnatic uh, has um, it. I disagree. I think HTK or Spice will take the gun. I think the winner of the first match will destroy Unicorns, and then they will take over Fnatic and defeat them too. Two best of fives can like make you a different team. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, it's so hard to... Yeah. Um, who would you think is the best third representative from Europe? The winner of the gauntlet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you guys are in a great mood. I think, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe unicorns can pick it up. They have to have two weeks of scrims, I guess. So I don't know. Fnatic is, now that they changed their style, I would like for them to go to Worlds, but I would also like for Splice and H2K to go. I think if unicorns change a little bit and become more consistent in what they do, then maybe they can be a wild card at Worlds too. So. I think every team has a good chance. All right. If anything, uh, we'll have to see how they can all pick it back up, the teams that got knocked out. You guys, we will see in the finals next week, Sunday in Paris versus Misfits. We'll see H2K versus Fnatic in the third place match. And that will do it here from our studio in Berlin. We get a week to call off and then we'll see you all back in Paris for hopefully an amazing third place match and an amazing final. See you then.